part three in our series on mitochondria. In the last couple of videos, we talked about how our mitochondria are electrical in nature. They are also very sensitive to different spectrums of light. And in this video, we're going to be exploring how our mitochondria are sensitive to sound and the frequency of our emotions. Now, this was one of the things that really opened up my interest into quantum biology, into the impact of electrons and protons, photons of light, phonons of sound, and how they impact the smallest pieces of our biology, giving rise to what we see on our lab values, what we see in a doctor's office with our symptoms and disease progression. I was reading an article from Martin Picard, who has done a lot of research on mitochondrial function. And it was a research article about how our mitochondria are sensitive to our state of emotion. And he was looking at sort of the meditative state of some of these more replenishing emotions of gratitude and joy and contentment that we might experience in a meditative state and how this directly impacted the production of ATP. And so we went into depth in this in the last couple of videos, but those mitochondria are those bean shaped organelles inside most of our cells that create ATP, the energy currency of the body. We have the outer membrane and we also have the inner membrane, the cystrae that creates this twisted membrane inside of the mitochondria. In that inner membrane, there's housed the electron transport chain. There are four different protein complexes and ATP synthase at the end of that. And as that ATP synthase turns, it pulls in a proton from that inner membrane space and um, that gets hooked in to create ATP, that energy source of our body. We know that when there is a decrease in mitochondrial function, in mitochondrial voltage, in the production of ATP, then we see symptoms start to arise. We see disease progression. And so mitochondrial health is vital to our overall health and well-being. And this study, Martin Picard, was looking at how our emotional state can actually increase the production of ATP absolutely mind-blowing. Now there has also been research showing that the music that we listen to and the sound frequency in our environment can impact our ATP production. And the study was actually looking at many different popular music um, genres, pop and classical, heavy metal, they actually found a decrease in that ATP production. Whereas the other music genres increase the production of ATP and that energy currency. Now, knowing what I know about sound, I have to wonder if the people uh, listening to this or the um, researchers maybe didn't, di maybe they didn't enjoy a heavy metal because uh, from the work of uh, John Stuart Reed and Professor Sunjul G, we know that most popular music has low frequencies to it that can really enhance that cellular function, that can keep red blood cells and white blood cells uh, alive longer, help actually the repair mechanisms of those cells. So I would love to see more research on how sound impacts our mitochondria and how our reactions to sound sort of um, fill in the picture of what's happening with our mitochondria. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing more videos about our mitochondrial function. We're going to get into our fascial system and how that interplays with the energy production and our lymphatic system. So leave me your comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.